I'm Kathy Goodson with Goodson Vintage Treasures and I like to paint furniture. I make a lot of crafts and I paint a lot of pieces of furniture. And I usually have exactly what I want in my mind. And I did this time, but I had a really hard time getting that exact picture in my mind to the piece of furniture that I was painting. It's a little pine three drawer dresser. Could be a good little end table too. And I had painted two similar pieces to what I wanted this one to look like. But I had a time getting it exactly the way I wanted it to look. But I didn't give up, and that's the key point about this whole thing. When you're painting something and you can't get it to work out, don't give up. Keep trying, and you can make it look like that perfect image in your mind. I hope you'll learn something from this video about not giving up. First, I started with Debbie's Design Diary, Petticoat Pink. And I painted the center of each dresser the center of the top and the center of the sides with this pink color. Next, I took Bohemian Blue and painted around the edges right up to the pink centers. Sometimes a piece looks really, really ugly before it gets pretty. So I decided to add Old 57, one of my favorite colors. And I added it between the dark blue and the pink, blending it with the two colors. Then I took my DIY sampler brush, I sprayed the whole piece with water, and I took that dry brush and I brushed through the different colors, blending all the colors together. Decided it needed a little more petticoat pink in the middle, so I was at it again with the petticoat pink. I continued to use my sampler brush to blend the colors together. I still wasn't satisfied how it looked, so I took some beadboard, which is a white paint, and I added it to the middle. I used my Water Girl bottle to spray the piece of furniture. The water helps to move the paint around and blend the colors. Thank you. 
Then it was back to the Bohemian Blue to add that dark color again around the edge. So when you have an idea in your mind, don't give up. Make that idea work. It was time to seal the whole piece with Big Top and then add the Franz Botanical Transfer. Adding ferns to the drawers, the sides. IOD transfers rub right on your piece easily, especially if you have that Big Top on first. On top of the piece, I added some birds that came from the entomology transfer and also a little frog down at the bottom. So from plain pine chest to a beautiful finished piece. You can find all the products I've used here at goodsandvintagetreasures.com and you can find the IOD products at goodsandvintagetreasures.com or on Etsy at Goods and Vintage. I also sell the DIY paint at Picket Fence, Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. And I sell the IOD at Just Around the Corner in Lincoln, North Carolina. So if you need some of these products, check it out. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And ring that bell for notifications.